Hello everyone and welcome back for another episode of Diablo 4 as we continue through the season of the Malignant. We're heading into Light's Watch uh, both for one of our little side quests but also to do another dungeon so we can finish rounding out the objectives from chapter 1 of our season journey. Now within here we've got to slay the two watchmen. And we are going to use all the tools at our disposal to do this. Most notably, all the fire. Because it is all fire based. Now, I'm going to need to get used to putting down firewall in different places to get the benefit of it. And I need to make sure I'm still using the fireball as well to take advantage of the fact that things have burning damage on them and then that burning damage is kind of getting detonated. So it's, it's going to be a bit of a fine balancing act, I reckon. Let's heal up a little bit. Oh, you know what? We should, uh... We should drink a potion. Do I have any on me? No, right. Let's go back very quickly. We'll make a potion and come back in. Because uh, the thorns damage, I really, really like um, having thorns damage just to help finish mobs off. I'd be interested to, to do a thornsy build at some point, but right now I don't want to lean into it. Certainly not with a sorcerer character. If you've got okay. the makings, I can mix it. Increase dodge, increase armor. Iron barb, let's make three of them. <sighs> I'll be here soon. And actually, I'll put that down there. I'll put the whispering key down there as well. That's going to work much better. Give me a little bit of healing before we go back in. I'd really quite like my uh, my Hydra to auto cast. But you can't have everything. Okay, Watchman's Gate. We need to head off to the side, find the first Watchman. Oh, it's sneaking up behind me. I'd say we've got pretty good mana efficiency for what we're trying to do. Pa, is it true what An they say? Unsent letter. An angel walks among men? Oh. The knights march to Corvalar. If I were two years older, I'd have passed my trials and I'd be marching. Instead, I stay. A skeleton crew will guard the fort until the knights can return. You'd be proud. No more polishing shields for me. They gave me a sword. Though I doubt you will ever see battle. We received the order. We've got the Archivist the Journal as well, which we need for that life. quest. You know that like the others who have been called to serve, we will not return. Ooh, there's the guy we need to kill. Already given everything to the church. Must we give up our lives as well? That is a pretty, pretty solid bit of damage output we're doing there. Okay, 
okay, that's worked. Felt a little bit more sketchy, but one of the Watchmen is now down. Sometimes it feels like our attacks are a little bit sluggish, but that could also just be uh, the way it's using resources in in this dungeon. You know what? I'm gonna I'm gonna proactively use potions as uh, the opportunity presents it itself. Just to make sure we're not going to be caught off guard by something doing a lot of damage. It's not going to be long until we get our enchantment slots either. Ooh, Blast Wave Shrine. Yeah, ah. Oh. Not good. some healing in. Okay, that gave us a level up, which is great. Nope. Fire shield. Finally, the hosts are dealt with for that cursed shrine. I'm hoping we'll be able to use the blast wave shrine on the uh, on the immediate boss for the watchman. But before we even get close to that, let's have a look at this. So firewall, we've already put a point into. Enemies continue burning for three seconds after leaving. That's going to be a big, big. Thing. This would give us more damage, more cooldown reduction, and more lucky hit chance, like that. These are just plain better. And technically we've got Frost Nova now, so I'll put it on. Don't know how much we're going to end up using it, but it's worth having it there. Ooh, this is better. That's significantly better in terms of armor. I prefer the dodge chance. Okay, I think we're we're good to proceed. Got him. Let's use our shield. Right. Watchman gone. That is a step up in terms of armor. We'll keep on that. We could... Oh, you know what? We need to actually keep moving for the journals. Yeah, it's going to be fun having that. Definitely going to be fun having that. I want to uh, upgrade our fireball as well because we haven't put any extra points in it. Our new recruits are proving themselves strong. I've grown fond of one. Knight Solian Acosta. Her devotion to the faith. Could oh, actually, sorry, we have. Yeah. 
from anyone's mind. We just need to be shooting it at a longer it's range to, to, her to hit more mobs. About those I left for the calling of the light. She had to leave her family too. The sun. Out of man. <laughs> Technically, the uh, the frost nova that we're doing is going to be giving us a barrier as well. Yeah, just a little, but still pretty cool. Ah, oh, having them burn after they've left the area is very satisfying. Really big fireball there. We got the overpower off on it. Only a 3% chance. I don't know if we're going to be able to improve that for this character, but. Out of mana once again. But freezing mobs and then, uh, then hitting them with the firewall. Good fun. Got some murmuring ovals and some other random knickknacks. Oh, I will grab that gold though, because at this point in the game we are quite poor. Right. Junk, 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 junk. So back towards the center and then up through that that door. Out of mana once again. Yeah, it can hit a really big area when it travels full distance. It's just, you know, fire fireball doesn't penetrate stuff, so. Oh, I wonder if we could have something that makes Hydra cast fireballs. That would be awesome. Okay, through the door. That worked well enough. I sometimes feel like I should be being more proactive with my healing. Potential to be bad, but I think it's all right. Reason. There we go. Yeah, very much about control. I do like having Frost Nova as a as a specific skill we might have to consider bringing it in as just a utility yeah. skill yeah. out of mana okay not a problem we can just get some of it back with some firebolts Wow, that's gonna hurt. Let's heal up a tiny bit. 
Okay, he's going to die by himself. Let's leave him to burn out. When they're all clustered together in a in a line like that, firebolt's really quite effective. I lack the needed man. There's level 15, so we can do our enchantment subquest. Right now, though, we want to keep putting points in. Probably we're going to go for Inner Flames and then Crippling Flames so we can start immobilizing mobs. Junk, 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 junk. Pretty good. Compared to what we have, anyway. Compared to what we're going to get end game. It's not that amazing. Yeah, our Hydra is really doing a lot of our work. That's another one of the archivists. Let's get some burning in here. I tried Journal number three. To leave with me. I told her that her son would rather go with her mother. And we could start over. Away from this frozen wasteland? She refused. Soviana said to run would be to abandon the light and a better world for her son. Perhaps she's right. I do feel we could have more explosions, but I think if we were to try and like bring a meteor in, we wouldn't be as effective at doing fireballs and things. All of your hits are critical hits. That's... That's very big. Let's do the heart while we can. Got him. Okay, let's have a look at this heart. What is it? Resource draining effects are 50% less effective. It's not amazing. Extra resource generation is, uh, is potentially nice, but I don't think we would build into it. Right, that's actually the way we're wanting to go. So let's check this way. Nothing there. Okay, let's see how we do against the boss of this section. He's actually quite painful. Some healing in. I need time. Oh, 
yeah, that's bad. He is going to go soon enough, though. There we go. Aspect of conflagration has been unlocked. Right, before we leave this area, let's check our side quest. So, yes, we are done with Legacies of Light's Watch as well. Nice. That means that room probably didn't have anything extra in it. And we can just head back to town. There is an event nearby, but we'll ignore it for the moment. <clears throat> so that's the second dungeon that we need in this area. Uh, we could do one more and found these journals. Thank you. Uh, we could do one more just to finish off the last objective on chapter one, um, which is just any dungeon in Fractured Peaks. And that will give us a small favor, which in turn will move us towards more of these, uh, these transmogs. For chapter two, uh, Cellars is gonna be the next thing. So we'll, uh, we'll keep doing what we're doing. Ooh, hello. Let's wear that. What socket has this got? It's got a vicious one. That's devious. Yeah, I think we're just going to salvage up what we have. Put them all under the hammer. Hey, cool. You get um, the Ica back for salvaging an item. Because it did say it couldn't be unsocketed, but I didn't know if you could destroy the item in order to actually unsocket it in a, like a sneaky, sneaky way. Okay. In terms of our progress for this, we can't see uh, until we reach World Tier 3 how we're doing for the Fractured Peaks Renown. So it's not worth us chasing that until we move up to World Tier 3. And we're going to need to be level 50 before we do that. So, we can just do any dungeon here that's going to give us something worthwhile. But I think we'll do the Legacy of the Magi first. Get our enchantment slot. And then we can, we can re-evaluate... Shouldn't take us long to ride around I to this. Here. More Galavine, always useful. We do need to do cellar. Oh, we can do an event. Caravan under siege. I would like the Hydras to last longer, but, uh... Can't always get what you want. I do like getting lots of fire in the area. That's very satisfying. Thank you. 
All right, I'm coming. Okay, I think we're just killing whoever's left right now. Lots of ables, lots of yellow items. We're going to want to check them. And we have our first Whisper, which is cool. Seeing as we were in the area, that's, uh, that's a good thing for us. You're the one who's been calling to me. I'm looking for... I'll see what I... And this is actually going to force us into the dungeon, which will be our third dungeon. Actually, we've, we've done this dungeon already. So we don't need to do it again. Doing it again is not going to advance our progress. Instead, we'll just focus on what's needed for this sorceress side quest. Okay, so we need to find the Forgotten Codex. We could pretty much ignore everything else in here. It'd be good to still kill things as we go through. That is so cool, it slows down our, our firebolts. Okay, he's down. I said I was gonna have a look at our items that we found. Uh, mm, that is more damage per second. Reduces our lucky hit chance slightly, but that's fine. That gives us life regen after the fact gives us cooldown reduction. So I think it's worth switching across to. This is just worse. Extra movement speed is nice. But, ooh. Damage reduction from close enemies and a rank of Meteor. We're not going to use Meteor. I'm gonna keep the, the Frost Nova that we've got, but that's still kind of cool. Can we put this? In, yes, we can. It's good to experiment with uh, with socketing and things early on to find out what the options are. So all they've done is they've changed jewelry sockets over so they are of a type that can be socketed. I'm low on precious metal. We're about to gain a level again. Comes along so quickly. So where is this forgotten codex? There's the level we needed. Tier 4 is ready to claim. Just killing mobs apparently is giving us um, progress. Well, Tier 4 we can't actually claim because that's a premium battle pass thing. I think it shouldn't, shouldn't pop that up if you're not able to actually do it. Okay, up and to the left. I do need to put our point in, but while we've got this shrine. Okay, 
onto our points. I was saying lucky hit, chance to immobilize. We'll put that up uh, all the way to the max. And then we can go back to doing some of our other passives, I think. Mana shield's actually going to be better than protection for how we work. Let's take that out. So I could do that. There we go. Only cost us a little bit. Uh, getting the, the damage reduction after spending 100 mana is yeah. much more useful to us than having that barrier. Conceptually, I like the barrier, but we don't really have the cooldown options right this moment to warrant it. Okay, doors opened. Hello. What's going on? Any any info for us or is that just a no no? Also, it's clear that that door is a bit bugged. Gateway to learning. Pretty big chunky guy. I'm out of mana. Shame I have to go first. Close enough. Elixirs of shadow resistance. Nice. this codex. Like we must be getting closer because we've gone quite far in here. Unless we've ended up missing it entirely, which is possible. That was our first um, immobilize. Really handy. There's still more mobs in there, but not really ones we need to worry about. That shaman needs to go before he resurrects too many more of the carvers. Where is this forgotten codex? I mean, it might be right at the very, very end of the area. That 
is always a chance. But there's been a couple of couple of like lovely rooms that we've passed that look like they would be perfect for some forbidden knowledge. He's gone. The uh, the immobilizing um, is going to look like yellow items dropping all the time. I've just realised that. I'm fine with it, but it's uh, it's kind of amusing. I'll just keep just keep hammering them and you'll get your mana back. That's how it works. Ideally we want to stop this guy on the flamey goodness. I thought the Hydra was going to take care of it, and then I thought, ah, maybe we, we should really help it along. towards the center room. Yes, let them come through the fire to reach me. That marauder really wanted to get to me, but the shaman was standing in the way. You almost feel bad for them. Anything further at the back. Let's uh, not get hit by those. It's level 17. That's two levels we've got in it. Hey, there's the. There's the thing we need. gonna have to do something about these shaman. You know, fire shield will warm us up. Alright, you are done. Okay, your heart. goes. Okay. Got a moment to breathe. Let's open this up. We need to uh, put our point in for our level. The second uh, second box is actually just over there, so let's just have a quick look at our inventory. Mm, that is better. We'll switch over. That is better. I think further willpower. So this is vicious. That is a vicious one. 
Can we get the same effect twice? I cannot. Can't replace the socketed gem. Okay, so we need to unsocket the gem. That's fine. That gives us incinerate, which is amusing, but we're not leaning into. Okay. Happy with that. Let's put our point in. So, probably keeping the pyromancy skills pushing down. It's going to be another two level or two skill points before we can go for Inferno. And Inferno is probably going to end up replacing Frost Nova. Probably. Seeing as we've come so far in here. I feel we should finish the dungeon. And then we'll go out and talk to the uh, to the other sorcerer. Don't mind me just bringing my, my box of stuff back. of mana once again. It's okay. It'll come back soon enough. Ooh. The Ultra Bishy Bob. Yeah, we can we can do this. It is a lot of fire going on there. Ooh. Back away just for a second. I think we're probably going to be okay. Oh no, no, get me out. Oh. It was a little sketchy, not gonna lie. Whew. That is the first time I've been scared in this, uh, this particular one. All right, so that gave us vivisection. section. Which I don't care about. Mm. I like this. That is a significant damage increase. This gives us a rank of Flame Shield and Frost Nova. Same as we've currently got, but seems to be just generally better. So mechanical box back over here. That's what we're doing. Let's open it up. Get him out again. I lack the needed man. Ow. <laughs> that was a little frost inducing.
It is so amusing that he uh, he does all the necromancy stuff. Ah! We're gone. Too many corpse explosions. Nasty. All right. I guess we'll have to try again. I thought we had a bit longer before we were going to need to back away from that. All right. Well, we're going to make ourselves a new sorcerer and uh, we'll pick back up next time. Uh, thank you very much for coming along, everyone. I do hope you have enjoyed this. As always, if you have, be sure to give a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, go ahead and do so, and you'll be told when the uh, next episode goes live. Otherwise, I'll see you next time for another episode of Diablo 4. See you soon.